Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. Yo, 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 yo. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat because we got to speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Today, follow me on IG, Vida underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Follow me on Twitter, Vida underscore fly. Follow Showtime SP, et cetera, et cetera. So let's get to this, right? Sue Surf versus Cortez is going down on a Ultimate Rap League Civil War card, respectfully. And that happens this weekend. It's going down in North Carolina, whatever the case may be. And you got some other battles on the card. Uh, let me bring it up. You got, uh, you have um, Swamp vs. Dot, Drugs vs. Franchise, Sharon vs. None None, Luke Castro vs. Jerry West. DNA and official versus Jack Boy Maine and First Lady Flames. Now, and then you got Cortez versus Two Surf. Now, while this card is cool, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with the card, you know what I'm saying? It's a card that if it was streamed live, I'm sure, you know, a lot of people would watch it. I would watch it and I would recap some of the battles on here too. And Swamp versus Dot, I said. Uh, but Cortez loses this scenario. Any way around, any way you cut the cake, Cortez loses, right? This is a lose-lose scenario for Cortez. This is not a win-win, this is a lose-lose. Even if he beats Sue Surf, right? In a battle that's going straight to the app, the amount of people that's gonna see it is so small compared to the people that would see it if it was on live streamed on caffeine. You know, they jump up the nigga saying they got a million people watching it and all that. I don't know because the votes be crazy, so you have like, a thousand people voting on the battle, but you got a million people watching it. I'll never understand that, but that's another story. So, you got all these people that watch the live stream, right? Cortez is battling that's going onto an app. That's like putting a whole bag of, of groceries inside of a Ziploc bag because you're not going to be able to encompass the whole, everybody's not going to see that. There's some people who don't have the app. There's some people who don't want the app. There's some people who can't afford the app. I don't know what every single person's situation is. I have the app. Do I, like all, like uh, most of the content that comes out of the, on there is either battles we already seen from the event or battles with like lower name guys. And then they, now they got battles with them niggas I ain't never even heard of. I get the notification, I look at it, I'm like, I don't even know who this is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, and then I, sometimes I'll even press play and the niggas don't even be that nice. I'm like, what is this? I, <laughs> I can't get jiggy with this shit. So now, you got Cortez battling against Sue Sir in a battle that was mad hyped, was promoted, was supposed to be on live stream. Unfortunate incident happens and the battle doesn't take place. And now the rematch, you know, you had uh, the Kings versus Queens last week and you got mad people complaining about that saying that overall event was mid. Uh, I did watch some of the battles again. I'm not gonna watch all of them because quite obviously, they're not all rewatchable, I'm just saying. I watched, uh, Tay Rock versus Vixen again. Uh, I was watching Charlie Clips versus Yoshi G. Like the first two rounds, like up to where Yoshi rebuttaled, I watched that far and then that was it. Um, and I think that might be it. I don't think, I, oh no, Jack and Flames. I watched Flames' performance again. But other than that, the rest of the joints, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Um, but Cortez, does, I feel like Cortez deserved more because when events are on like that, when MCs have great performances, they trend, you know what I'm saying? Like they're trending, they're getting notoriety, people are talking about them, you know, whether you win, lose, or draw, you know, you got big outlets that'll talk about them. You got um, Let's Talk Battle Rap, they do polls, you know, you got the poll on caffeine where people could kind of have a determination of who they felt like won. Are these polls all perfect? No. But when you see a poll where somebody has like 4,000 votes and the other person has 225, you kind of got a notion of where you're going. So when it comes to Cortez versus Serve, I think for their perspective, and then you have the fans, you know what I'm saying? Like the fans who went to any given Sunday that you know took time off, that flew there, that bought tickets to see a battle and they didn't see it, 
and now the battle happens again, it's a lot of those folks, you know, they can't take PTO, PTO. It ain't Ben Simmons here. Everybody ain't got the fucking Ben Simmons or Kyrie Irving rule where they can just walk off work whenever they want to and just go wherever they want. A lot of niggas, they take off work, they, they bills gonna be backed up. So people plan to see this, they're not seeing it, then it happens again, and it's going straight to the app. Some niggas don't have the app. So it's like, it's gonna be bootlegs ramp rampant everywhere. And overall, I just think that Cortez deserved this look. You know what I'm saying? Like, Surf, he didn't battle against Vixen to prepare for Cortez, and it could probably still be a great battle. I'm sure it could still be, you know what I'm saying? Like, if Cortez got all of the shit that he got, and Surf got all of the shit that he got, and they come together, and they make it work, and it's a war, cool. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. They could still potentially have fire, but if not for nothing, for the niggas who was there at the Any Given Sunday shit, who didn't get to see it or are not going to get to see it, they should have had some kind of exclusive access to it because when you go to other places, whether it be uh, a restaurant or whether you go to a, a show or whatever the case may be, they give out like gift certificates to try to make up when something doesn't happen. But now this shit is going straight to the app. Yeah, we'll still see it, but it's just, it's just not going to be the same. And now I got to re, re-predict it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, well, I kind of had Surf winning. 2-1-ish, but if it's going to the app, he's not even going to get a fair shake. Like, Surf's fan base is so big that he would literally have to come up there and forget everything that he's got to lose the battle. Like, that's the kind of impression that goes on now. He, Cortez, is not even going to get a fair shake. This is not a narrative. His fan base is not nowhere near where Surf's is. And if it happened live, He's got a better shape because if the battle is a classic, if the battle is a debatable, or if he wins, you got people that's going to call it like, oh, nah, I got him winning, nigga, I got to got, nah, it could be debatable, blah, blah, blah. When you go to that voting system, there is no, if Surf gets out three rounds of whatever, he's going to win. He will win. Like, this is not even, we, what are we doing here? Are we serious? Like, you can't be serious and think that he even has a fair shake. If you think he has a fair shot, y'all can, you know, go in the comments, let me know what you think, you know what I'm saying? He's got a fair shot, he doesn't have a fair shot. Uh, he's gonna get, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, I just, and it's, it's not just me, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of other people that are saying some of the same sentiments that I am as far as like the battle not happening, like on a live stream to where everybody could see it. Let's go to my man Jims, he says, having a live event where 95% of the building paid to see a main event that did not go down is crazy. But to reschedule that battle for an event that isn't streamed live is so dirty. Gems, I agree with you. I agree. Specifically for the fans. Like, the fans. Fuck everybody else except for the artists. You know what I'm saying? Sue Surf, Cortez salutes them. But for Tez, he shouldn't have even... Like, this is the thing that people be saying when it comes to Tez and his career. You've been around way too long. If Goods was battling Surf... There is no fucking way that they would agree, that he would agree, Goods would agree to do this shit on um, off week, like with these battles that's on this card. He wouldn't even agree to be on this. He would say, no, it's not happening, put us on known. Or no, it's not happening, push that shit back to the next caffeine event. It wouldn't happen. Goods would not do that. Hitman would not do that. Calico would not do that. There's mad MCs that would not take an off week plate like this to go straight to the app. You're gonna be at a competitive disadvantage, and, it, and at this point in, in Ted's career, he should realize that, like, yo, these niggas is trying to line me up. You getting lined up, my boy. You are getting lined up, my boy, and it's just what it is. There is no way that niggas is gonna give you a fair shake, especially once it happens. And then the people who actually saw it, they jumping on Twitter, they saying this person won, that person won. It's a perception. Then it's about a day or two before it comes out. You know, these niggas like the drag shit. So to fucking be out, if the battle happens on Saturday, that shit won't be out till like another week. And then you got all of this hyperbole of this person could have won, that person could have won, whatever the case may be. Battles like that deserve to be saw on the spot. Well, 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 this shit deserves an L. Um, but like I said, Cortez could still potentially get it, but I, if he had... If going into it, Cortez had a maybe 20%, 30% chance to get the W, with it going straight to the app, that shit drops down to like five. I'm just going to be honest with you. It does because the, the app the, is such a non-guaranteed way. You know what I'm saying? Like there's some battles on the fucking... Let me look at this shit, man. I was looking at this shit the other day. 
Yo, there are some battles on the app, bro. That these niggas have like a hundred votes in all, like the whole battle. Battle yesterday dropped 33 votes to 50. And there's another battle on there, 110 votes to 105, 180 to 52. Uh, fuck another battle on there. Uh, Saga versus True Foe, 100 votes to three something. Like, this is not, you can't tell me that hundreds of thousands of people are subscribing. When you got battles on here that have a hundred votes on them, my nigga, like that shit don't work like that. How does it work? I don't understand, bro. I, I, I'm lost. I think Cortez deserved a better shake. And as I scroll down, there's not a single battle on here that has over 2,000 votes for the winner. And this is me just scrolling back all the way to like February. And even big stage battles. Look, okay. So, okay, no, no. Mike P versus Geechee Gotti has 2,000 votes. 2,000 and then chess versus jack boy has 1.3 thousand votes. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not a big enough fit It's not a big enough pond for this man. Like like this is this needs to be held in the ocean Y'all putting this shit in the fish tank. I'm sorry. It, it, it is what it is uh, Cortez takes an L regardless of how the regardless of how the cake gets cut Cortez is taking the loss By battling or accepting I don't know what the situation was or how it was or how it was agreed to but goods would not take a battle that was canceled versus Sue Surf on the fucking app. I'm sorry. The only app he would want that shit to be on is Caffeine or YouTube. You know? Or if they gonna have a battle and release that shit the same night, that's a different story. But more than likely that isn't gonna happen. So, you got it. Man, Taz, I, niggas vaulted your biggest appearance. This is your biggest appearance and niggas put this shit in the vault. I'm out of here, man. Fuck it.